This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Hope that you are doing well. All is well here. How do we survive and thrive during tough times? Easy to survive when all your bills are paid. Easy to survive when you have the love of your life. Easy to make it when everything is good. You need that extra staying power to really make it when times are bad. What do you do? I would always say before I start, please hit that like button and please hit subscribe. Thank you kindly. Before you do anything else, try not to panic. Self-control is a superpower. When things go bad, it's easy to go off. I wanted to get mad a couple of days ago. I ordered a bunch of stuff from my classroom through my company. And I had to pack my car with probably six boxes or so heavy because one of them was a chair, another one is like a, um, I guess you call it a, uh, what was that thing? The little storage thing. But anyway, the stuff was heavy, okay? So I'm on the third floor. I had to cart it all the way up to the third floor. We do have an elevator, thank you, God. But it still was a lot. And my door is broke on my classroom. Been broke for two months. Simple things need to be fixed. Tammy being the Virgo, me, I like everything organized. And when simple things become a big production, it irritates me. I was getting mad inside. But I was like, just calm down. I guess I was getting mad because if I couldn't get in my classroom, I was going to take all those boxes and re-put them back in my truck. I don't want to have all that stuff in my apartment. I just have an apartment. I don't have room for stuff like that. So I could feel myself getting mad. Long story short, my door was open. You know, somebody had to open it because it's broke. And I got the stuff put in there. And, it, and hey, I had a little surprise when I got in there. My floor had been polished, so my classroom floor is beautiful. But <laughs> I know that's minor. But that's just an example. When you exercise self-control. I tell the story of working in corporate America it happened to me. I'm going to name the guys. This way, I'll tell you how many times it happened. Dick, George, Mike, Steve. Those are four times I remember distinctively being yelled at, talked down to. And I had to check each and every one of those guys that did that. I didn't go off on them back. You know, I'm from the west side of Chicago. I know you all hear me say that a lot, but if you're from Chicago, <laughs> Westsiders get a rough, we get a rough name. They think we ghetto, undignified, unsophisticated, not classy. Stereotypes, I, do, I love stereotypes. Never true most of the time. So yeah, you, you decide if a stereotype is true. You can live up to what they say you are or you could be who you are. So of course, I don't buy into that but I could have went off back on those guys and show what I'm a strong woman hear me roar nobody gets the right to talk to me like that what does what does that prove anybody can be a damn fool that's what I'm learning anybody can go off anybody can act a fool in the street but it takes a dignified person to show class, to show restraint, to show self-control. I get it. You don't want to let nobody tear you down and you're not going to let nobody run over you. I'm with you all. I, I'm not a doormat, but I know how to mind, you know, what somebody. Who wins? Not the one that does the fool. The person that wins is the one that keeps her cool. You beat them with your mind. You don't beat them with words. So every time those guys were 
unprofessional towards me, I followed it up with, you will never speak to me that way again. You are not to talk to me that way. So, okay, I'm going to give you all something. When you're dealing with negative people, difficult people, what do you do? I'll tell you what I do. I disengage. If you want to be negative, I'm going to get away from you. If you want to start an argument, I'm going to avoid you at all costs. Now, you can't just talk down to me and think we're going to have a dialogue. No. If I see that you're that type of person, I begin to avoid interactions with you. I'll be short. I'll be brief. And I'll be direct. And that's how I deal with negative, difficult people. I don't. Sometimes you can't avoid them. They're your husband. They're your wife. They're your mother. They're your sister, your brother, your cousin, a friend. They're your manager. So you can't always avoid, but you can limit your interactions. Everybody gets boundaries, including mom and dad. And when they want to be mean and disrespectful and tear you down, you avoid them. Sure, but I like I have to talk to her. That's my mom, of course. Go ahead, you can. But if she tearing you down and make you feel like you're nothing or you know, <laughs> destroying your spirit, you might want to limit your interactions. It's a nice way to get off the phone with mama. You know I love you, mama, but I gotta go. I got to go. We have a DJ here in Chicago, Crazy Howard. I got to get out of here. He'll say that. He's so funny. It's a nice way to do anything. How do you deal with tough situations? The bills are not paid. Ooh, that one. That one is a tough one for me because it causes me anxiety, financial stress. One thing I have learned, I had to learn years ago, communicate with your debtors. No, you the debt or the creditor. <laughs> Communicate. Communicate. Hey, I don't have the money, but I will have it on July 1st. I don't have the money, but I could pay you in two parts. The 1st and the 15th. People are willing to work with you when you communicate. When I was buying a house, I owed on a credit card. I think maybe two. I started wheeling and dealing. Oh, I paid that stuff off and I was making deals. I had money. You know, I had a, um, I had some money. <laughs> so I was able to pay them off, but I wasn't paying that balance. I will make a deal with you and pay 60%. Will you take that? Yes, we will. Can I get that letter saying paid in full? Uh-huh. Communicate when you can't pay your bills. Look for resources to help you wherever you live. I know here in Chicago, and if we live in the suburbs, it's definitely help. Help in Chicago, and there's even more help if you live in the suburbs, less people. Go to your local suburb or district where you live and seek out resources to help you. I know someone, they were laid off and got their mortgage paid for months. So that tell you there are programs to help you. What do you do in a tough situation? You know, I know. Divorce. How do you get through the divorces? And those are tough because the divorce is out of your control. It seems like, especially with COVID, the people that I know have gone through divorces is going longer is being drug out, and you know what being drug out means? More money for your attorney. How do you get through that tough situation? <laughs> A lot of faith and prayer, that's for sure. Communicate with your attorney. Every time you talk to them, you got to pay for that. Have your documents ready. Whatever they're asking for, have your documents ready. Same with buying the house. Have your stuff ready. You know what you're going to need. Be proactive. When you are ready, you don't have to get ready. Stay ready. You don't have to get ready. Tough situations. I tell you what I do, I, and I, I don't tell people to do what I do. 
But I tell you what I do. I really avoid like a whole bunch of negativity. Like this week, I don't feel that good. You all, I don't know what it is. I feel kind of blah. I don't know what it is. I just feel something a little off. You know, you feel off. You have some weeks you feel amazing. And sometimes it's just something off. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. And I'm not going to try. But when I get like this, I just go quiet. I get real quiet and stay to myself. Because I ain't got it. I'm, I'm doing that on purpose. I don't have much to give. I just don't. I'm just... You know, I'm just trying to take care of myself at this point. Nothing bad is happening. No tragedy. Nothing like that. Just feel slightly off. So I I don't have many words to say. Maybe God got me here for a reason. You know, in this space. So just stay to myself. Because you know why I do that? I don't want to spew this on nobody else. And I won't. Nobody would know unless I tell you like I'm just telling you. But every now and again, it happens. Um, I'm, I'm an empath. And I went to my picnic this Saturday, past Saturday. I talked with quite a few of my classmates. I don't know. It seemed like something jumped on me. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of social gatherings. I think I might be a little burnt out. Who knows? So I stay to myself when I get like this. Um... I don't watch the news anyway. I do listen to it on the radio sometimes when I'm coming home from the school. So I don't know what's going on in this Chicago land. But, yeah, just take care of yourself during tough times. Don't panic. Don't interact with those negative people. And know that this too shall pass. All right. Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality, signing off. Take care. God bless. Drop me comments. Bye.